good you're awake. Don't bother trying to move, your suit's disabled. I've got you hooked up to the jumpsuit maintenance frame. Well, it took me a while, but I finally figured out how you did it. I remembered that Agent 8 told me that when you broke house arrest, he found you back in your old apartment without your suit. So that was the gauge that I know. And he jumped back into the past to enlist your help, right? Because he knew that he was being watched. You certainly are resourceful, aren't you? I didn't even know that that was possible. Just when I thought I had you under my control, you go and pull something like this on me. While you were unconscious, I looked at your evidence biochip. That's some pretty incriminating stuff. Looks like I've got no choice. I'm gonna have to erase it and, uh, mind wipe you. <laughs> well, at least you won't remember how painful it was. In fact, when you wake up back in your apartment in the year 2319, you won't remember that any of this ever happened. Or, uh, will happen, I guess. Well, first, I, I've got to send back the uh, environ cart that you stole from me. When I said we need to talk, I meant an actual conversation, not whatever you're doing right now. Why did you put the environ cart inside that puzzle box? Well, despite your best efforts, humans are no longer the only beings capable of time travel. It's for the better, Gage, believe me. We can't, we just can't be trusted with, with such a powerful tool. Human nature would eventually drive us to use it for the wrong reasons. And if we're not the only ones with the technology, maybe we won't be as tempted to misuse it. My contact promised me that it would be given to every race of the symbiotry that wants it. Oof. She's not in favor of destruction. She's giving it to the others. Gage, this doesn't look good. The jump controls are locked out and she's got you completely immobilized. While you were taking a commercial break, she hooked us up to this thing. She's been downloading stuff from your biochips ever since. She hasn't discovered me yet, but I'm afraid it's just a matter of time. I keep trying to sneak a peek down the data stream, but I'm afraid I'm gonna stand out like a... like a... rat in a garden house. Hey, that was pretty good. Anyway, I'll keep trying. You probably think that I'm ill, that uh, I'm insane. Uh, I really can't blame you. I mean, no one from our generation has ever seen how aggressive we can really be. Or the generation before us, for that matter. Or <laughs> the ones before that. But every single one of my historical research missions involves studying war. I've been to the Nazi death camp in Hiroshima. I've seen the terrorist massacres. I've lived it. I know. You can't possibly imagine the horror of seeing a bustling city of thousands vaporized by, by a nuclear firestorm, or a crowd of people shredded into bloody ribbons by a single shrap bomb. As you watch, helpless. But that's what happens when we feel the need to bare our teeth. It's human nature. And it's not something that, that just a couple of hundred years can, can erase. Look around you. Do you know what this place is? It's a, it's a missile silo. Well, a few centuries ago, there were tens of thousands of these, and each one contained a nuclear missile powerful enough to obliterate an entire sector. That's enough to destroy the world 50 times over. Oh, we know. Yet just three centuries later, even before the physical reminders are gone, we're claiming that we've matured into a peaceful race of beings. How can we be that naive? That's it. She just hooked up the pipeline I needed. I'm gonna swim up and see if I can stop her. You're not wrong, but... You probably figured out that I was the one that rigged the security grid. I had to be able to get the things I needed from the Pegasus warehouse without being seen. But when you started asking around about the mistake in the grid, well... I mean, the future you, that is. Um, 
I had to change my plans. So, instead of just sending the information to my contact, I came up with the idea of hiding it in a historical artifact. Artifacts from your research dates that were also slated for sale at the Louvre Art Auction. That way, all I had to do was tell my contact which items to buy. Mm. And the transaction was nearly impossible to trade. And if anyone started digging around because of what they saw, well, <laughs> they'd discover the ripples and come straight back to you. I even found some valuable trinkets to plant in your locker if that happened. Just that one simple move would give you a motive and the court a scapegoat. But, um... I didn't want to have to do it. I never thought for a second that someone might accidentally discover the ripples. I mean, how often do we do manual scans? Someone must have been bored out of their minds that day. I'm sorry, Gage. I really am. If I could be the one that was arrested, if, if I could take responsibility for my actions, I would in a second, believe me. Oh, shit. I had no choice. I, I don't want to do this to you, but if I don't, it will all have been for nothing. If they find out how the technology was spread, they'll be able to, to keep it from ever happening. That's that's the problem with time travel. Nothing's ever safe. That's why I had to do it. I had to even the playing field, even a little. I'm sorry if, if I'm making you an unwilling martyr to my cause, but that's just the way it's gotta be. Please understand. Why am I even bothering with this? You're not gonna remember any of this anyway. You put this shit in my locker and now you're saying this? Gage, I'm there. It's all hooked. Okay. Finally, I can actually save the game. Uh, there's way too much to unpack there, so I'm not going to. Stop everything. It's all controlled through the neural link into her suit. We can create a virus and shut the whole thing down. We just need to get into it. There's a password, Gage. I need a password. What do you know about Michelle? I'm setting up an interface link for you. I need a password or you've both got instant Alzheimer's. Let's see what you can dig up. Hurry! Uh... Yeah, I mentioned this at the very start, that her employer is terrible by sending her to all these places. A holocaust, a holocaust, something terrible, and I don't know what that one is. Um, we can see this, but hello Michelle password, do I have to type something in? Gage, we're running out of options here, I need that password now. Okay, I need to look through here and find a password. Rav ball. Rav ball competition. What about Grav ball? Ha ha! That's it! We're in! Only... There's... One thing I didn't tell you, Gage. You're gonna have to do the rest without me. I'm the virus. Thanks for the adventure. I'll see you on the other side. What? What's going on? What did you do? What did you do? Alright, we have control. And we've lost Arthur. Good stuff. We are in a missile silo. Can the TSA really not tell what she's doing? All of these jumps, all of this movement, the place is being monitored. I find so much of what she is doing here just completely and utterly implausible. Okay, same time, same date. We are in an abandoned missile silo, which... 
as she correctly notes, could destroy the world many times over in the past three centuries. She is completely right though. Our history is so... I don't want to say long or whatever, but it's very clear that we can't change just in that short a period of time, I reckon. And time travel is inherently dangerous. You can see me on that. If anything, I think she would be in favour of destroying the technology. But no, she's giving it to another race in the symbiotry. Can I jump? No, the jump by chip is gone. So if I want to go back and learn about the alien races, I cannot. Not unless I load my conveniently placed save game. Yeah, going to Auschwitz and then Hiroshima, that will be enough to break anyone. What is that, Gravis? Plasma tools. I can't believe it was Michelle though. She was the lady who greeted us at the very beginning of Pegasus Prime. She was the lady that we relieved and she said at the start how proud she was of, I don't know, I don't remember what she said. I'm kind of mind blown right now. I mean, I figured it had to be someone from the Deep Time units, but I was not expecting it to be her. And the news report said that she was prepared to leap to our defense in course. What a piece of shit. Okay, again, I can zoom in on that. Generator core. This is a cold fusion generator core. It appears to be in working condition. What's over here? Reactor core. Burned out core. This is the burned out core of a cold fusion generator. It is emitting non-lethal amounts of gamma radiation. Warning, the generator core will interfere with transport beams if not stored in your null time pockets. Is that important? I mean, it's stored here. We can't move it out of there until we actually place it in something. So I assume that's all okay. Uh, where is it? Yeah, okay, let's switch the lights back on. Whatever we did, it burned that thing else and it got rid of her. How long has she been living here? I assume this is her stuff, but in reality it could have been the Minutemen or whoever was maintaining this missile silo. Can't access that shower. The 
this is where we woke up. The TSA have got to know what she's up to, surely. What I don't understand though is why she hid this information in the past. Was that really necessary? Like finding this Environ cartridge inside that puzzle box, what is the point of that? Unless the idea is that we give other people time travel so that they can go back and also grab the stuff. Because it was very, very sophisticated what she did. And I really don't understand why she did that. Okay, I've got something there we can interact with. I can interact with that. Okay, we've got the power tools and also a monitor of some sort. Make a save. I see. So the glass pyramid would have got her into the um, into the door, and that's where we found well, we found evidence of that, didn't we? Replicated glass fragments. That's how she got inside that door. That is the key from Chateau Gaillard. That is a synthetic human heart that was used as the sacrifice in the final room in Chichen Itza. Chichen, sorry. Okay, that I don't know about. I got some of those digits, but not all. 6572. Five five one nine zero two three five. Saga of Gage Blackwood. In a Nothing Prosecutor has changed there. In the absence of an alibi or any evidence proving Agent Five's innocence, witnesses for the defense will include Agent Three of the Deep Time Units. God damn you! Okay, we have access to the news reports here. If we need to learn something about the symbiotry. That rings a bell. Site Klegman Radiation. Just writing that down. Klegman Radiation. Voice 11 Hertz. Will this tell me who she was dealing with? Yeah, I used Escape to skip through that. I found that out a while ago, chat. Uh, no, not quitting. Right. Who are we dealing with? The opinion originally... Not the Lakshani. The opinion originally the looking for the specific phrase Klegman radiation. The door.
much higher bandwidths. Vocal 12 to 13 kilohertz range. The door. Despite being. Uh. Klegma radiation, not Klegman. Okay, she was dealing with a crin. Is there something I can learn here? I read this out not that long ago. That can be lycrans to dolphins of Earth. Yeah, they need to survive in aquatic environments. The size is based on sensitivities to Klegmar radiation, which occurs naturally on their home world. Their cybernetic implants further extend their sensory awareness. Their hearing is very similar to that of humans. We're not getting anything else here. If we can get rid of the liquid tank, then maybe we'll be okay. Despite being recent. Okay, I feel like I learned something very useful there. So the next question is, how do I get out of here? I've been given a code, but what do I do with it? I suppose I can sit in this thing and jump out somehow. Yeah, okay. Address represents a diplomatic orbital link. Enter proper. Ugh. I know exactly what I want. Despite being. Two seven two. Hopefully I don't need anything else out of there. If I do, I've got a save game nearby. Repairing transfer something something place object. Can we place ourselves? Oh, I think we can. Can we survive underwater? Where the hell are we? It's only taken us almost two games, but we finally found the aliens. That's where I came from. What are these noises? I can move uh, forward here. I can also move that way and that way. I don't appear to be suffering from a lack of oxygen here. Okay, that moves me back into the center. Okay. 
Also, I'm just thinking about the items that I've been given, but I haven't used yet. Things like the explosive charge. We got that out of Farnstein's lab, but we haven't used it. And also the metal bar, which we got out of the same. I can't use that, but I can go forward here. All right. Oh, hell. I can go that way. I can't go further this way. I assume that's going to take me back to where I was, so I need to go this way. That's new. I believe that's going to take me back to where I came from. Let me just confirm. Yep. Uh. Some sort of panel. Can I blow it up? can pretty clearly go left or right here. What the fuck? What if I cloak now? Without turning. Nothing. This is me turning left at the intersection. I can move forward towards it. That takes him back to where I came from. survived. Okay, so perhaps I need to go right. There's a little break in the recording there because I had to fall unconscious for a bit. Let's get the game done. So the Kryn, or whatever it is, two of them went into this corridor. I've got to try it. Cool effect. Agent 5 imprisoned on Kryn's ship. We're not actually dead this time. While attempting to recover the illicitly obtained time travel components, Agent 5 was captured and imprisoned on the Kryn ship. As he was acting without the knowledge of the TSA and his whereabouts are unknown, it is unlikely that Agent 5 or his jumpsuit will be returned to Earth custody. How much am I missing here? I'm still missing a supporting evidence. Oh, that's uh, not good. I've possibly missed something in one of the four time zones. Damn, that design is horrifying. The cybernetic appendages? Wow. I've probably missed something there. Unless there's two more puzzles to solve and some more evidence to find, I've missed something. Do I need to recloak? No. Yes, no, maybe. I can't move forward. I 
I can't move forward here. Have I just bugged myself? That was very slow. This is where I originally came from. So if I turn around and go back to the intersection, I'm going to skip this. If I turn right, I can't move forward here. I don't know if that's a bug or not, but I can't move forward here. I can't click anything here. Uh, I can click that. Okay. I can click that again to move forward again. Anything around here? Okay, this is freaky as hell. I can move forward and backwards perhaps. Forwards is my only option. I can interact with that. I can move left or right. This kind of looks like a council chamber, perhaps. You've got these little things on the left and right where Kryn can perhaps chill out and cast their votes. I can click on this. Let's go around first. I can examine that. These noises are freaking me out. I can click on that one. There's nothing behind me here. And I assume that there is where I came in. But I'm also assuming that I'm going to need to use the explosive charge here. Getting some screen tearing going on. Again, I can examine that. Oh. So there's six of these pods that I can click. That takes him back to the start. Okay. What's behind pod number... I don't know, 12 o'clock. I mean, the game's letting me do it, so I might as well give it a go. Hello? Okay, I've got the Environ cartridge back. Ah, there's a puzzle box. Is there another way I can get these out? Like with a metal bar, perhaps. Uh, what else? What else? The hammer? That's the signed document, I assume. That's the gel. Maybe what I need to do is use the explosive charge on the sword. I assume the sword's here. Uh, that I don't even recognize. Yeah, there's a sword. 
let me go for the sword first because maybe what I need to do is grab the sword and then I can cut the other's ass with the sword. Richard the First Sword. This is a sword of Richard the Lionheart. It was probably used by him during the Third Crusade. Can I use it to cut this open? Yes. Jeez, girl. I thought that's what it looked like. I didn't want to say it though. Jeez, girl. What is that doing to me? Maybe they came to the same conclusion that I did, which is we need to use that to access the lab. Interactive sculpture. Self-awareness is an interactive sculpture credited to Kenneth Farnstein. Ah, uh, no, that's not the signed document. That is Leonardo da Vinci's Codex. Codex Atlanticus. The Codex Atlanticus is Leonardo da Vinci's Codex on flight. It contains all of his thoughts, observations, and theories on the subject, as well as dozens of theoretical designs for flying machines. And a bunch of other mathematical formulae which are not appropriate for the era. Yeah, I didn't recognize that as a cartridge at all. I saw three dots and thought maybe I can attach the explosive to it. Uh... No, it's on the other side. It's here. Come on. I have to actually drag it. Mayan puzzle box. Having trouble reading this. This is the ornate Mayan puzzle box from the natural caverns below Chichen Itza. Can I reopen it? No. I don't believe there's another exit here, so I'm going to go out this way, but something's clearly going to happen. Very clearly. I have the evidence back. How do I even guess ours? There's nowhere to go here. Yeah, we're going to get ambushed the moment we get into the next room. Uh... I have to do that because I can't move. So if I turn left, that's going to take me back to where I came. If I go straight, so that's somewhere new. Nothing? I can't move here though. Um, okay. Did I just have to wait for a very long time? Okay, I solved another puzzle. Awesome. But I'm still missing evidence. Where could that evidence be? 
My only thought is maybe it's in the chest at Chateau Gayard in the King's Chamber. I can't think of any other locations where we haven't been where the little evidence thingy would have gone off. Oof. So what went wrong here? I would love to be able to turn left here, but I don't see an option and I can't interact with anything here. I did try to interact with a few things when I uncloaked, but I didn't see anything. So I'll give it about a minute and see if anything happens. If not, maybe it's back to the drawing board. This is a very long wait though. Like an absurdly long wait. Nothing here works until I click deactivate on cloak, including saving the game. Yeah, nothing's happening, so let me just do a very quick save. If the game lets me without dying. I don't know about this. What about if I cloak again? I don't see anywhere I can click here. Maybe I need to use an object, but I can't think what. Because I can't move. If I look to the right there, none of the buttons are lit up. Definitely not that. I'm just doing that in hopes that it resets the timer. No visible light waves detected. So how are we even looking around here? I don't know about this. Can I cut that maybe? Yes. Not entirely sure how that works, but fine. So if we use the explosive charge on something other than Richard the First Sword, is that a fast state? I've got to imagine the answer is yes. Which is kind of incredible because up until now, I don't think we've run into any fast states in this game. Or hell, in this series. If we open something other than Richard's sword, how do we get into the other evidence lockers, I'll call them? Hmm. No choice. Why are you here? I believe we... Searched for. 
You cannot imagine what the secret you carry in that mean to my race. A means to correct the handicap that has plagued us since our patrons lifted us from the water of the centuries A mixed blessing to be taken from a universe over which you have achieved complete mastery and shown another much greater to be given the opportunity to build a bolder future. But Flynn's land is my race is already there. For 15 generations, my race has been trying to catch up. You have brought us a tool with which to correct the evolutionary oversight which left us swimming when we should have been collecting stars with races who now call themselves our elders. We can learn much from that suit you're wearing. Transporting it off you will leave you without protection from our environment. It shames me that you will die. I wish I could understand what it's saying. I can definitely make out some of it, but not all. All right, so it sounds like he's going to transport us out of the suit and that's going to kill us. Uh, he's talking about using time travel to change his species evolution. It doesn't work like that, dude. It just doesn't. But yeah, this dude was in cahoots with Agent 3, very clearly. Uh, I can't move, so can I cloak? I assume we're restrained. All right, cloaking does not help. Okay, this actually does kill us. We're not imprisoned. We are dead. Moments before transporting off the Kryn ship, Agent 5 was intercepted by the returning ambassador. Seeing an opportunity, Icarus forced Agent 5 into a transporter and separated him from his jumpsuit. Exposure to the Kryn's aqueous environments was fatal. Still missing that evidence. I don't think we're getting it. Oh no. All right, can I do anything here? Not that I could see. Cloak does not help. We are clearly restrained. What? Uh, can I break this with the sword? Can I break anything here with the sword? Can I hit you with the crowbar or the iron bar of some description? Also, why is the water canister full? Uh, imprisoned. Okay, that's different. Different, but we've seen it before. So I can use the burnt out core. On that, but does that charge the core? Not that I can see. Uh, interface, let's make another save. I assume this is the very end, but I don't know what object I need to use here to end the game. Water canister does not help. Skulls do not help. Sword does not help. The obsidian block does not help. The metal bar does not help. Damn it. This is just going to be a case of me going through the entire object list and finding what works. Uh, the goo. The hammer. The gold coins. The Geno single. Uh, no, not that. Definitely not that. It's kind of cool that we can see the background through the burnt out holes of that letter. Uh, I'm close. I know I'm close. The bloody arrow. The balcony key. Okay, uh, what do I need here? I've been through everything here. I don't see what I can use to get myself out of this. The sword seems like the most logical choice, if for no other reason, 
other than it's a critical item. We have to have the sword at this point. Oh, am I really going to stumble at the very last obstacle? I can't move here. What if I burn the um, thing here? And wait. I can't interact with anything here. Can I toss the sword? No. I can only move forward and that does not take me to where I need to get to go. Imprisoned. Um, what am I doing here? The fact that a water canister is full seems very, very sus. I've not used a metal bar to effect. I do wonder if that's how we open the chest in um, the King's Chamber. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. The interaction sculpture seems like a good idea, if only because we can turn that into God knows what. But if I move forward, I've got no options to move. Can we not bargain with him, perhaps, and... Oh. Fuck off, I'm loading that. I was just clicking my mouse randomly around here. Yeah, okay. There's a hot spot there. So clicking that removed his cybernetic limbs. Now the question is, do I pursue him or do I get off this spaceship, embassy, whatever it is. I think we'll pursue him for now. Uh, can I pursue him? That's where I came- no, that's not where I came from. Okay, now I'm pursuing him. We are back at the intersection. Left is closed off. Right is also closed off and there's nowhere to go here. Okay. I can fiddle with that. I assume that's our way out. I was just there. All right, it's fine. Can I fiddle with that? No. I still can't fiddle with this thing, even though I think that's my ticket out of here. Can I break it? No. Can I break it? Also no. So I believe I came from this one originally. It's been a while. Reach the 
verdict? We have, Your Honor. We, the jury, find Gage Blackwood innocent on all accounts. <laughs> Really? Oh my god. That was so abrupt. Congratulations! The evidence that you gathered was instrumental in affecting your future self's release. Repeated efforts to locate Agent 3 have been unsuccessful, as no signature from her involuntary time jump have been detected by TSA chronolog scanners. Huh. So we did something and then she got jumped out and she's god knows where. After a lengthy investigation, Ambassador Icarus was found to be acting without the approval of the Korean government and was dismissed from GC. Only dismissed, not executed or something. Nevertheless, the elder races of the Symbiotry have resolved to keep the Korean under close scrutiny. However, there's just one loose end remaining to be tied up. Well, I have to say that even I'm impressed. I've been cleared of any wrongdoing, and the Kryn have been expelled from the Symbiotry. Oh! Now there's just one thing left to do. You can't stay here, but sending you back with knowledge of the future will cause a temporal distortion wave. So that leaves us with only one option. Sorry, but... We're being MIB'd. Mind wipe initiated. Whoa, did you ever get the feeling of deja vu? Congratulations, history is safe again. Paragon Medal for Valorous Service. Of course, it'll be another 10 years before you can enjoy it. Hmm, definitely enjoyed myself. Don't know if I enjoyed myself as much as Pegasus Prime though. Which is kind of odd because I feel that this game is put together much better, but I'll provide some more thoughts after I found the last piece of supporting evidence. Where the hell was it? Credits? Credits. Right. I need to look this up. I'll be back in a sec. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Maybe? I say okay, 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 but um, let's try going this way. Unlock this. Do that. Spin that. No, that's not it. What am I missing? I know exactly what I'm missing. I'm missing the synthetic blood, damn it. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Let's go all the way back here. I can't back away now. But if I look at my evidence... I've got up to here. Let's go exit. Let me just load the game before this. Yeah, on this particular save game, I did not do that. That's all it was, damn it. So at this point, I should have seven pieces of supporting evidence. One, two, three. Wait. Yep, okay. One, two, three, four. That's a critical. Five. That's not a critical, believe it or not. Six and seven. And the criticals are here, so what's that? 7 plus 4 is 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and as soon as I open the puzzle box, that'll give me 11. Damn it, I had it! I just forgot to click that again on my load. Oh, no. Alright, I'm just going to open this one last time just to prove that I can. This actually took me a while. And I think it's because I chose Vessel here rather than Breath. That gets me killed. Uh, this does not. Alright, I will meet you back on the Kryn ship. 
All right, so I'm back here. I'm ready to go back. Uh, I just want to check something very quickly. The walkthrough that I'm reading suggests that I can do something with this. And I also completely misread the advice about the... Where is it? The lens filter. It says no visible light waves detected. Removal of lens filter not advised. Basically, I'm blind here. If I'm not wearing the filter when I arrive, I'm screwed. Transporter pod set for inorganic matter only. Yeah. I chose the correct one out of complete and utter luck. Transporter pod set for inorganic matter only. It was the one that I arrived in though, which is why I chose it. I also didn't actually recognize these as transporter pods, but you know. Transporter pod set for organic and inorganic matter. There we go. We have, Your Honor. We, the jury, find Gage Blackwood innocent on all accounts. You would think that after presenting the evidence in pre-trial motions that the trial wouldn't even go ahead. Well, I have to say that even I'm impressed. So impressed that I want to skip this dialogue, but I can't. Any wrong Damn it. And the Kryn have been expelled from the symbiote. You can't stop me from skipping this. Now there's just one thing left. Take that, Gage. There we go. It was purely just because I didn't pick up that last piece of evidence in Chichen Itza. I did grab it on the main game, but in between the saving and loading, I lost it. Damn it, I was so close to a perfect run to begin with. Oh well, cool game. Okay, I'm back on this screen, but I don't see how to actually play the intro credits, so let me just do a complete shutdown and load here and splice this in. I definitely don't have enough to say to fill throughout this entire sequence, other than, once again, I enjoyed myself. I do see that this has a 67 on GOG.com for its critic rating, and I... I fundamentally disagree with that. I mean, this isn't fantastic, but it is not 67. It is above that for sure. Maybe high 70s at worst. I did definitely remember some things playing through this game. For example, when we went to Farnstein's lab the second time and we found the water canister. I didn't say this out loud, but I immediately thought, okay, that's one of the things we used to get through the doors in Chichen Itza. But then, thinking about Chichen Itza, I didn't even remember the caverns underneath. But then I remembered the Hall of Spears and some of the other stuff around there. I definitely also had some thoughts of using that ballista device in Da Vinci's workshop, where you sit down and have to aim it. But prior to that, I didn't have any memories of that. One thing I can definitely say that I did not remember though, is that Agent 3 was the villain. That's actually kind of shocking, and... She is correct when she says things like, uh, humanity is not ready, we can't erase our past, blah blah blah. She is completely correct. I mean, this game was made for a 20th and 21st century audience, so it's all very relevant. But I can't believe she did that. I feel personally attacked by that. She's the very first character that you see in Pegasus Prime, giving that voice message saying, hey, I want to meet the aliens. And she turns around and betrays us like this. And as best as I can tell, her plan was somewhat solid, albeit risky. She wanted to hand over the technology to the aliens, but instead of just handing it over like a normal person, she went back in time, hid the evidence in a couple of objects from our past, which coincided with our missions, and then said to the aliens, oh, you just need to go to the Louvre, attend an auction, and purchase this stuff, you know, up to 13th centuries in the future later. And that'll give you the technology that you need to build the time machine. I get it, but I can't help but feel that something could have gone drastically wrong sometime between those 13 centuries. It seems a little bit convoluted, but you know what? Anything involving time travel is convoluted, so I'm not worried. What else can I say? 
Arthur is great. Of course he's great. And I did have a whinge about how the game was skirting dangerously close to educational territory. But the reality is most of that information came from me clicking comments on Arthur. And unless that's part of the research score, that is entirely optional. So I'm not prepared to ding the game over that either. I can't think of anything else to say right now. I'm kind of mind blown and still very upset by what she did. Legacy of Time is next. That's the final game of the series and it's going to be a blind playthrough. I don't know what to expect. At minimum, I would think that we're chasing Agent 3. We're going to figure out what Arthur's virus did, where it took her, and we're going to track her down and hopefully try and get some answers. As for where this is going to end, is it going to end with us destroying time travel technology? Or are we going to embrace it? I don't know. I'll see you in the final chapter, Legacy of Time.